welcome back. We, are, we got a big week ahead of us. Bridget finally has a vacation from work. She's very excited about that. Yes, I and am. And so is Mady. And uh, we have a big trip planned with the boat. We're going to be away for 10 days. We are going north along the Intracoastal, up the Gulf Coast, from Cape Coral towards Venice and possibly Sarasota. Yes. So um, we'll see what the weather is like and what we pass along the way. It is a hot one in this, what is it, June 30th here in Cape Coral, Florida. June 29th. June 29th, close enough. It's like 95 degrees out today and it's gonna be hot all day. We got some rain coming in, but it's rainy season here in Florida. Should be interesting, stick around. We're gonna have a lot of fun. Bridget. Yay! 10 days off. 10 days. Who knows how many episodes this series is going to be, <laughs> but we're going to have a fun time, so stick around. I didn't realize it at the time, but exactly one year earlier, on June 30th, 2022, Bridget and I began our trip south on happy hours from New Baltimore, New York on the Hudson River to Cape Coral, Florida. So this trip from Cape Coral to Venice was a nice celebration to that achievement one year ago. We got a late start today because Bridget actually has to work. But, um, so we left about, it's about five o'clock right now, 5 p.m. And uh, we were hoping to make it to Pelican Bay over in Cayo Costa before uh, sunset. But um, it doesn't look like that's going to happen. Um, Hopefully we make it to Cabbage Key. We're supposed to be having some rain coming in. Hopefully it's not too bad, but we will see and keep our fingers crossed. First leg of our journey along the miserable mile here in Cape Coral. We have a looper boat ahead of us. I didn't get a name off of it, but they're from Canada. I saw Canada flag flying. Cheers for 10 days vacation. All right, we are passing Cabbage Key, but we're making pretty good time, so we're gonna head on over to Pelican Bay. How are you enjoying it, Bridge? Very relaxing. Relaxing? Ready to watch this, our first sunset. First sunset in how long? First sunset, our first sunset, a tent, tent sunset. <laughs> We're getting there. Hopefully, hopefully I see all 10 of them. I might not be up for all 10. Oh, our first sunset of our 10 day vacation. Gotcha. Now look at how shallow it is over there. Birds are just standing on the beach. Cabbage key. See you next time. All right, we are getting here in just a nick of time. The sun is starting to go behind the clouds. And that's the entrance to Pelican Bay right up there. I don't like going in at dusk, but we don't have much of a choice. We tried to make some good headway, picked it up a little bit, got up to 20 miles an hour. So we can get here before sundown, but it doesn't look like it's gonna be much of a sunset. All right, getting into Pelican Bay, very shallow entrance, very narrow right over here on Navionics. Lots of information there. You got to stay really close to the sandbar beach as you pull in there to the left. All right, so far so good. There's a sign over there that marks the entrance. Slow speed, no wake. And you can see the sandbar. It's sort of hard to see in the dusk here, but you got to hug that shore pretty much. So it was about four, just over four feet under the keel. A lot of boats in there, big boats. Maybe our neighbors. Still got four feet. Oh, see that? Flying see fish. That. Maybe so. So far, so good. Okay. Depth is still four, over four feet under the keel. 
You can see where we are hugging the beach there. And there's a GPS. And they say once you get in here, you sort of aim towards the ranger station, which is way up there. We look like we're good again. Looks like we got past the shallow part. We should be home free. Yep, starting to get deeper. Over six feet now. And there's our sandbar beach that we will be hanging out at this weekend. Nice. Well, at least tomorrow. There's like beaches all around. Matey's gonna have his pick where he wants to uh, do his business. Right, Matey? Right, puppy? Catamaran power cats and sailboats. All right, looks like we are set. Four and a half under the keel. We are just off the ranger station. Good holding here. A little windy today, tonight. And we didn't get to see a nice sunset. Sorry, Bridge. Sorry. All right, matey, sunlight's burning. Let's get rolling here. This is not looking too good. All right, we found a little beach. It's roped off. I'm sure the sign says no trespassing. I believe the park is closed. Oh, you're never gonna believe this. Look at this. Another shell. Ooh something inside of that one. Stella didn't give us that one, matey. Come on, do your business. We gotta get back before the storm comes in. We'll explore all this in the daytime, but I don't like the look of that. Here five minutes, and I just got matey for a walk before the rain came, the star on the lightning, everything up. Temperature dropped about 10 degrees. Do you want to make it? Yep. Yeah. She's still smiling though. She don't care. That She's on vacation. So I'll probably be oh. scared with my life jacket on soon, but... Put that light over there. There's a light on shore. It's like uh -huh. a dot. It's a dock or something over there. It feels a lot cooler out here, that's for sure. Time to set my anchor drag along. Well, at least all the salt's getting washed off the boat. Yep. At least all the salt's getting washed off the boat. Let's settle in for a nice, relaxing night. Yep.